Okay, so I'm back with my skater game. I've added the transparency, uh, transparent sprites hack through Bitsy, uh, through Borksy, and I saved it as um, borksyskater.html. So I've got a game that works. I haven't made any changes and exported it again. If I were to export again, I would lose the um, the transparent sprites hack that Borksy added. So here's another solution uh, that allows you to use hacks and uh, it might just be preferable anyway because it has a couple other benefits, but it's something called Bitsy Savior. I just searched for Bitsy Savior, and it's the first thing here. And it's uh, it's a program that you run on your computer that gives you the Bitsy, the Bitsy editor. Uh, it also has a bunch of other features, but I'm going to show you just basically how to download it and how to use it and why it might be helpful for um, dealing with hacks. So download uh, for whatever operating system you've got. I actually already downloaded it. Let me um, go ahead and open it. So I will double click. If you're on a Mac, it's very likely that um, trying to install it, which basically just means moving this uh, folder somewhere. So I've just put it in my uh, home folder. And so it's called Bitsy Savior. If I just try and run it, it's very likely that um, Mac OS might complain. Now, it's it's asking me if it's okay because it's been downloaded from the internet, but in, in case you haven't encountered it, it, it's more likely that you'll see a message saying that it can't be opened for security reasons. So you go into system preferences, choose security and privacy, and then just make sure that here it'll say it's you've just tried to open Bitsy Savior. It'll allow you to open it after that point. Then you'll have to try again. I've already done that, so it's allowing me to just open it with this caution message. Now, uh, before I get into how this helps with hacks, there is an interesting feature here that allows you to run either the Bitsy 7.2 uh, editor that we've been using or others. And so right now there's only two listed here, but let me show you that there are actually other Bitsy editors. So here's Bitsy. Now let's go to the About page. It shows you where the GitHub repo is under Source Code. So here's the repo. If you know anything about GitHub, well, I shouldn't say that because uh, my students know a lot about GitHub, but we really didn't get into the idea of forking a repo. Now, when you fork a repo, you basically kind of make a copy for yourself and you can make changes uh, and you still have the ability to kind of synchronize your, your uh, forked repo with the original as you make changes to your own. So let's look at the uh, Bitsy repo and see it's been forked 41 times. Many people just fork it and then have their own version and don't make any changes, but other people have made changes. So here's one called Bitsy 3D. Here's one called Bitsy Color. So they've kind of tweaked it and made it their own which is what's great about open source and about GitHub. So I'm gonna to go to Bitsy Color here and see what this is all about. If I click on uh, this link that they've given me, it shows that there's actually a different editor for Bitsy that allows you to use more colors. So, and it also has some other effects here, like uh, being able to move sprites and uh, add some dithering effects and that kind of thing. I haven't used this much. It actually is a little complicated because there's not a lot of uh, documentation, I think. But let me just copy that link to this Bitsy editor and back over in Bitsy Savior, I can add that as uh, one of my Bitsy editors. So I'll call this Bitsy Color and I'll put in the URL and then just give it a thumbs up. Now when I hit play here, it will open on my computer a version of Bitsy Color. Okay, and this is a, a program running on my computer, but it looks just like the website. Let me go back and open Bitsy 7.2 and you can see here is the Bitsy version. Uh, it's it's kept a uh, version that I had saved before and this is the benefit it allows you to kind of save your game locally on your computer and if you have hacks built in you still won't be able to see them in the editor necessarily I won't see that cat shaking like I did before with the uh, sprite animation um, hack or uh, be able to see transparent backgrounds none of that will still happen but I won't have to save uh, my game as HTML and then use something like Borksy or editing the file myself through Visual Studio Code to add the hacks. It'll maintain them. So uh, I've shown you enough, of, I think, right now about how to download Bitsy Savior, how you can use different Bitsy editors in Bitsy Savior. In the next video, I'll show you why this is good for using hacks.